Today we're going to take a look at part one, chapter three of Never Let Me Go. Um, we're just going to analyze some events that happened in this chapter um, and important plot points that we should be talking about. Um, so the first thing that we um, examine is Miss Lucy and Tommy's talk. Um, so Tommy meets Kathy out by the fountain. Um, and ironically, she's kind of embarrassed um, about how she's being seen with Tommy because remember he's bullied by everybody and she's she's too nice to say don't talk to me um in Miss Lucy's talk we kind of talk about the significance of secrecy here at Hailsham she tells Tommy what's going to happen to the students of Hailsham one day donations and all that what what's going to be what's the fate um and Tommy has no idea what she's talking about um she kind of addresses him and says, you know what, if you are afraid of being creative, just be creative. Be yourself. Don't worry about what the other guardians um, say. Um, and he's kind of confused by all of this. Um, another thing is Madame, and I kind of, I added this photo of the woman from Matilda. I thought, that's what Madame reminds me of. So Madame is this woman who comes um, every few weeks and she collects the best photos um, paintings, sculptures, anything that they've given for the exchange, any of things that these students have provided for the exchange, and takes their creative work away. And we don't really know why. Some students speculate that she has her own private gallery. Um, and, you know, there, I mean, there's no proof that she does. They might speculate that maybe she's selling them and making money off of it, uh, but they don't really know what the deal is with um, Madame. Um, there's also some talk that Madame is afraid of everybody. Um, I don't know what the deal is with Madame yet. Is she working for the government? Is she a superintendent? You know, we don't really understand her role yet. Um, kind of playing off um, Madame's idea, um, I want to talk about the Guardians. Okay, so the Guardians at Hailsham. Um, they're referred to by their first name. Um, whoops. And you know, we see this in charter schools. Um, does this mean Hailsham is a charter school? You know, you in elementary school, you might call your teacher Miss Emily, um, Miss Molly, whatever your teacher's name is. Um, but again, it's very much of a um, sophisticated relationship, but it's interesting that the students call them by their first name. Um, you know, I think what's important to talk about is the very nostalgic tone that Kathy um, gives off. Um, we don't really understand um, why she is so, so nostalgic of um, Hailsham yet, but there, there is this kind of aspect. Um, elementary school teachers are like guardians, right? Um, so maybe that's why um, they call them that, but they're tweens, teens at this age, so um, it's a, a little weird. Um, Another proposition is that maybe guardians are trying to keep it cool, right? They want to be the cool teacher. You call them by their first name um, without the risk of potentially losing the job. Um, but this is really how um, this is carried out in chapter three. Um, what I want you to focus on is this idea of secrecy. Um, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, we are anxious to see where this foreshadowing takes us.